What's up YouTube and welcome back to DLS Wave. We're back again with another interesting discussion on a very interesting topic that I think will be of interest to anyone out there. So sit tight, grab a drink and let's go. Before we start, let's introduce ourselves. So to my left we have Steve as S and DJ Tobacco and Leo L. Do long distance relationships work and what are some of the challenges that arise when a long distance relationship exists? So we're gonna go straight ahead into the discussion. So in long distance relationships, there are always challenges and the blame comes from both sides. Sometimes the ladies accuse the guys of abandoning them and sometimes it is the guys who are saying after they left, they, they saw a change of behavior in the lady. What is the truth? Who is at fault? That's what we're going to discuss now. So let's go. So I'll just throw the first question to D and ask, were you in a long distance relationship mm. when you left Ghana? I would say yes. It was more of like, um, you know, the usual stuff. It's like out of sight, out of mind, right? Yeah. It's like once the days go by, turns into weeks, turns into months, you know, things, things change. It's like seasons. Right, you get job hustles, you start a new life, you meet different people, right? And then the ladies at home, they also got their own lives, right? They're busy, right? Sometimes you call them, you don't really pick up, but is that really a cause to be suspicious about every time they don't answer a phone, right? So I think it develops from one point to the other, right? Until, until it worsens. It's always difficult to say, oh, it's because of this, 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 this. I think there are like multiple reasons, different layers to it. Any experiences you want to share? Yeah, yeah, it's similar. Like you, it, it, yes, I was, was, no, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I later tried mm -hmm. to have somebody and. You mean after you traveled out? Yeah. Okay. I, when I was, actually I left booking party. Let me put it that way. Right. So, <laughs> broken heart catch. <laughs> yeah, broken heart catch man rough. <laughs> Yeah, a bit disappointed, but then when I, I got here with time, time heals, yeah? Right. So I, I started, I tried to start a relationship with, with a friend, a friend, and after some time I realized it wasn't working. And I remember, I remember exactly what I told her. Mm -hmm. I was like, where I am now, it's like, a, I'm like a sinking ship. That is what my life is Titanic. looks like. Like yeah, yes. And if we're if we're on the same boat, it's different. Mm -hmm. I can try to save you. Not yeah. the Titanic level, mm -hmm. you know, but fisherman but, level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fisherman side. Yeah. Maybe I go feel catch some tilapia or something. Yeah. Like but the truth was I was like, you know what? I don't want to hold you down mm -hmm. with the hope that I will come back one day. And like I said, being a sinking ship, I'm sinking. Mm -hmm. Life looks bleak, you know? So there is no way a sinking ship rescue another sinking ship. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the, the mindset is that you you get settled, you get things going, and then probably you go and invite her or bring her to where you, you are, mm. you know, so yeah. when the sinking, the, 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 the ship is sinking, there's no way you can actually do that. Mm. And you have to be man enough, bold enough to be able to, uh, to tell the person, like, this and this and this is the reason mm. why she wasn't happy, but I know I was helping her and helping myself. But I think that is where a lot of like, I think that's where a lot of like girls or women kind of misunderstand. They think it's so easy for men to just say, let's break up. Mm -hmm. We go, we also right. go through the emotions, right? Yeah. But at some point, just like you said, right? It was best for everybody. You did yeah. not want to hold her back. Probably she found somebody else. She's going to be like, oh, I have a boyfriend in China or something. So we cannot really kind of move on or yeah. do something. But then, like you said, that will be holding her back. Meanwhile, life is not also okay for you here to be able to kind of like take care of it the way you want, want to. to. Yeah. So you're frustrated. You just, you agitated. There's a lot of things that you want to do, 
but you don't want to disappoint this one person, right? Mm -hmm. So then you don't know when it's going to work out. Right. One year, two, three years, right? Yeah, Should this person keep waiting for you? Anybody being abroad knows. Yeah. No, it's, right. it's like, yes, a, it's like exactly. a lottery. Yeah. Right, yeah? Right. It's like a lottery. Some, it takes some people, some people A never, very short time to yeah. kind of make get it, get right? Documents exactly. Sorted. They yeah. keep hustling. Yeah. And those who are in those situations yeah. know, know what we are talking about. Yeah. And there are people who come and within a if, couple yeah. of months or Things, something, yeah. a year, two years plus, they get their things sorted. Yeah. Everybody is different. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and right. with that knowledge, sometimes it is it is difficult mm -hmm. for for depending on the person back home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to understand. Right. You understand. Yeah. It is it's, it's difficult. We are men, so we can talk about women back home. Mm -hmm. It is actually difficult to really explain yeah. to them that oh, because of this situation. I need to probably get married, hook mm -hmm. up with someone, so that I can be able to sort out all, all I can and yeah. bring you. Yeah. And there have been there have been other cases where people took that risk and then later fulfilled their promise. Mm -hmm. And then and then the the lady then or the then then became a wife, mm -hmm. then goes like, Oh, thank you for bringing me here, but I screw can, you. Yeah. I can be on my own. Yeah, they're like very different circumstances. Yeah, right. Clear. Yeah. Well, in my own, my own case, I kind of came to China at the time when I'd just been broken hearted. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's, so yeah, I mean, uh, it wasn't. It was. Um, yeah. It was a friendship for a long time, and the relationship started, but it wasn't a, rela a relationship for long. Yeah. And then it just happened suddenly. Mm -hmm. The fault was not mine. It was from the other side. She just suddenly told me that she was mm -hmm. going to move on. Yeah. And maybe it was a good thing because just around the time that it happened, I got the opportunity to travel. Oh. So it didn't hit me so much because I left the environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it helped me to recover quick, quicker than I, it would have been if I remained in Ghana. So yes, it was painful, but like yeah, mine wasn't like a a relationship that broke up after I traveled, but it happened before I traveled. So yeah. that is a twist yeah, of my it, situation. It, it's good if it happens before, because mine was like before. Mm -hmm. You know, although she knew I had mm -hmm. a, and but the plan wasn't for me to leave. Like right, um, the plan was okay. When I go within some time, I'll try and bring you along because we've been dating for years. Mm -hmm. You know. But I think it's one of those things I always I always happy. use that term youthful exuberance, right? We all young, you know, full of testosterone, full of like life energy, and we start making promises that mm -hmm. we have no idea about. <laughs> You're promising heaven. Exactly, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, think about you going to like, building I mean, pyramids. Exactly. Stuff. Just think about I mean, going to the states, whatnot. The they speak. In the air. I mean, they you. speak languages that yeah. you can understand. There are people of the same color that you can relate to and whatnot. But think about coming to China and they're like. 2000s and whatnot yeah fairly like you know opening up brand new there were not a lot of black people africans here so it was like a big risk a big leap you have no idea what the language sounds like it looks like whatnot right. so and then you, you start making promises to a girl but i'm gonna go and settle and then you know sort myself and i'll bring you over that's that was like over ambitious exactly, that's what i'm saying like <laughs> that's super over ambitious so it's like, i feel like sometimes we just in over our heads like we right. say right? right so then once you actually get your yeah, things start again like you know it turned out completely different from what you had anticipated mm -hmm. and then the trouble starts popping up right well let me let me take us to another dimension mm -hmm. so after where well, we can fairly say that we all went through a certain experience a certain, experience, a certain level of brokenheartedness mm -hmm. and long distance relations but let's look at right after you got here in mm -hmm. china uh, and after your relationship fell, what was the relationship between your ex and yourself mm -hmm. the months or let's say a year after the relationship fell? Was there so communication or was there a complete stop of communication or how did things happen after the breakup? With, with, with my, um, I would say original ex, yeah. the one who left me before I left, mm. Um, it took some time, mm -hmm. right. but I later got to find out that f 
a couple, some few friends of mine were went trying to to date her. Or yeah, something. right. And she she got pissed if I have to thinking I was the one behind, mm. maybe pushing my friend. Yeah, I was like a sort of testing her. Yeah, you? testing her. Oh, okay. You know, uh, after this, this is after about six years, seven mm-hmm. years. Because we didn't talk for five years, mm-hmm. if I have to say five, six, seven, six years. So I was like, how, you know? But then the relationship is still fresh, new. Like it's still what what we had, you know. We still, because we we're like like you said, we we're good friends. We we're like family, you know. The best friend was my my cousin. Mm-hmm. You understand? So right. we had that that family bond already. So after talking, it was okay. It was easy for us to to talk about the past, mm. to open up, yeah. to say, "Listen, this was the mistake. This is what I did," and it wasn't anything that should have caused a breakup, you know. But like you said, we were youthful. Mm-hmm. Actually, she was a bit youthful, mm-hmm. you know, thinking there are more fishes in the sea, yeah, yeah. like me too. But then non-existent fishes in yes. the sea, yeah. So. It, we had we had what I call open conversation, mm-hmm. and now we talk and we talk normal, like we we, we really understand each other, mm. we really keep pushing each other, even in our in our different marriages. Yeah. You know? So it depends on the relationship. Yeah. You, you yeah, I, I believe that too. I believe that the fact that you broke up, it might depend on the the way it happened, but. The fact that you broke up doesn't mean you should be enemies. But I think no, it doesn't but, but, matter but, but, what, but it whatever way it yeah, happened, it it's not going to be pleasant to either no, party. No, so I don't think it matters how it happens. With, with, with breaking up and being friends, mm-hmm. it depends. Mm-hmm. It depends on the how vicious the breakup was. It, de- it depends the character. And also how, how close mm-hmm. the friendship is. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That. And then also it depends. It depends on on the character of the person. Mm. For me, I think basically, it's a, I feel like it boils down to maturity. If you're matured enough to understand that, just because we dating doesn't necessarily mean we have to end up getting married, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or we have to but, spend the rest of our lives together, right? What, that is because it's life, said. right? Circumstances, no, things happen. Yeah. You, yeah, exactly. And most people are currently doing the same. Exactly, same exactly. Yeah. Because you feel you are you 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 owe that person something, right? You know, right. We, we in Ghana, you don't, you don't. The moment you start to pick other women, mm-hmm. whilst everybody knows you have a certain girlfriend, mm-hmm. then you're a womanizer, mm-hmm. right? You understand. The, the problem we have, and I think I, I stand to be corrected, we are not allowed to explore a little bit mm-hmm. and make make the right choice. No, I think we are allowed, but I think the problem is the society. I feel like I watched the podcast that, last then time. It, then it means we are not allowed because if society will judge you. You find it difficult to say, okay, I can see some red mm-hmm. red flags with this lady I'm dating. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe she's overprotective. Mm-hmm. Or let, I don't even want like using that word, but let's say she's a narcissist. Mm-hmm. You can see that the red flags, mm-hmm. but you're like, oh, I can change her. I can change her. I can change her. But later you realize you 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 cannot do anything about it. Mm-hmm. But and then you cannot also walk away from the relationship because. Society does not allow you to because everybody knows ah you've been doing the thing for the past mm-hmm. five six years mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. why are you living here you're a wicked person it's that's what I'm saying I think society are... is very harsh to men than women that is what I said yeah society, society don't is allow a bit us more to lenient really explore because... now I think we are allowed to but we're scared no, we to... hide to yeah we're explore. scared to do no, it no, because no, no, of no, no, judgment no, no, no. from we hide yeah to that's, that's basically the same thing we're mm-hmm. scared to do it because of society and society yeah. Yeah. so yeah, at yeah. the end of the day society. So the reason why I keep saying society don't allow us mm-hmm. here, I'll give you an example. Look at the country like the Western countries, mm-hmm. yeah, like US, the UK. At certain age ages, they don't feel I need to have that particular relationship. I mm-hmm. need to, I, this relationship should lead to marriage. Right. They are expl- so if with time it feels like you, I don't click with you anymore. They can tell you, listen, I'm walking away. Is it good? To some people, no. To some people who want to have, quote unquote, the best relationship or want to be with the, the kind of man they want, if they feel you are not meeting certain standards, they can walk away. But where we are from, our society don't allow us. So people actually get married 
where they know they, they've seen all the red flags mm -hmm. that this guy is abusive mm -hmm. this guy is this this guy is that mm -hmm. this lady is this she's narcissist she's that she brings division she doesn't even want me to see my parents but yet because of that tag that where people will be so disappointed in you mm -hmm. you go like you are managed. Let me manage you, I keep yeah. managing. Right. And the manager will manage you. Yeah. And that is right. why a lot of people are being managed by the manager. <laughs> I get it. Right. No, no, that's right. a good point. Yeah. But but my point that I'm trying to make is at the end of the day, I don't think there's any breakup that is pleasant or nice mm -hmm. or it's mm -hmm. good for any party. So my thing is that you know, it's like that's what I'm saying. It's like there is too much expectation when you're in a relationship, right? You just have to like ride it out, see where it gets to. Yeah. Because like I'm saying, we're here now, right? People will not understand the process, what you had to go through to get where you are now, right? Mm -hmm. They only see you now. They're gonna be like, oh, look at Steve. Now you see that he's he's driving like you know Mercedes, blah 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 blah. He left his girlfriend, but they they forget about the part, the process, the years where you had to go through a lot of crap, right? Nobody sees that, right? Yeah. So during those periods, right, those same girls will not even pick up your calls because they're spending some sort of like, you know, sudden funds yeah. or money or some commitment or coming back home and picking them and bringing them over, right? right. So they feel like you're just not, I don't know, being the man they were thinking you could be, right? Right. So at the end of the day, it, I feel like it's, it, I don't know if it's miscommunication or it's just like, but too much of an okay, expectation. Let's, let's look at it another way. We all have seen and heard experiences of people mm -hmm. who have traveled abroad, have settled, and have come to pick their boyfriends or girlfriends mm -hmm. and taking them to live with them. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, problems have come. Yeah. And sometimes the person who was helped turns around to be ungrateful, mm -hmm. to tell the other person, who, the helper, that you know my, my class, this and that, I'm walking away and all that. Do we think some of these experiences are what sometimes affects these long distance relationships? Because I tend to think that maybe because of some of these stories we hear, people go, they make it and are like, ah, because of all these stories, probably it might happen to me. So let me just forget about her or him and find somebody mm -hmm. else here and live my life. Mm -hmm. Could it be a factor with regards to long distance relationships failing? Yes, there are so many factors, but you see, I always, I, I, I love the fact that people, you cannot go to people's mind and back. Mm -hmm. So in your, your, your relationship, mm -hmm. right, you think you have the best woman, you have, you have the best boyfriend, yeah? mm -hmm. but everybody is working with a code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. That code, you don't know. What is a code? It's a Ghana thing. So maybe somebody listening who doesn't understand. Somebody is working with a certain mindset. Mm -hmm. They are looking for something. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, or when you started dating, probably you are the, the on the list. You are the guy that can, uh, can provide or is providing that kind of things she's looking for. But after some time, because she has been elevated, let me put it that mm -hmm. way, because from Ghana to America, you've been elevated, mm -hmm. although it comes with this struggle. Yeah. Yeah. So when they get there and they hear the culture back, the, 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 um, as, let me say, the system mm -hmm. supports women in certain ways. Yeah. yeah. Then they go like, oh, okay. And then they start to listen to people too. Mm -hmm. You understand oh since you come uh, your man if he does that does that but the truth on the ground is a lot of women are in the u.s and from our country that are really in in deep deep shape because men are difficult to come back mm -hmm. yeah in, in the u.s yeah because now everybody is good scared. men good men let yeah. me put it that way right everybody is scared not to be screwed by by the other party mm -hmm. yeah right so that's why i was asking is it big is the fact that people hear some of these stories also causing long distance because people problems. hear and they've seen right because we all are, we all may have a friend who have experienced or something have gone like through yeah. something like that and a wise man or a person learns from people's experience mm -hmm. yeah. but a wise person 
No, no, sorry. A, a person just wants to experience it, to learn from it. But a wise person learns from people's experience. Mm -hmm. So whether you like it or not, somebody's experience affect you naturally mm -hmm. it is the things we hear because that is life i always say we are spirits what you see what you hear what you speak have an influence on someone mm -hmm. so someone who will sit back and look at why are some of our, our men and women behaving like that mm -hmm. because someone has done it before yeah and they've benefited yeah yeah they've gained from it so you think you can also do it. And that is why a lot of uh, the relationships happen like that. Mm. That is why people take those, those decisions. And that is why people are also scared right. to take the risk. Right. Do you think um, people's experiences influence other people's decisions? Oh, no doubt. On long but, but relationships? I believe that, I think once you, you said something off camera that there are people who just come into your life to just kind of like you know help you through a journey right mm -hmm. at a particular state they come and they go yeah. so i feel like i feel like we have to always have that you know at the back of our minds you're not gonna go to the end of the journey with the same person some mm -hmm. come and help you for a bit some come and bless you some come to test you right right it all builds up your character it helps you along the way but like i keep saying it doesn't matter how the relationship ends I don't think there's a need to carry that, you know, on your shoulders, right? Hating each other or like, you know, not being on talking terms or, mm -hmm. you know, spreading, you know, false stuff or allegations yeah, against you, yeah, you your ex, right? Because for me, I feel like at the end of the day, you, you had good times. Yeah. Right? No, you had bad times. The good times should be cherished. Exactly. Yeah. No, Same but, way. But this is where I disagree a bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in life, there are times you need to walk away from people. Just, just, just. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, those, those, those are, those yeah, are like those exemptions. Ones, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we're just, talking just, about you being overseas and your your woman being back home, and then it's like mm -hmm. you know, due to the distance, it's like you know things do not work out. If you explain to mm -hmm. her and mm -hmm. she's not she's not prepared to listen mm -hmm. to your explanation because that is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. We are we are quote unquote we are in love, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to explain, give you a certain picture mm -hmm. that I'm in, yeah. But I'm trying to survive. Mm. If you love me that much, you should support me. Right. Yeah, but that's the thing. They can support you, but there is no guarantee at the end of the day that if that trouble or if you weather those storms, right, you're still going to come back for them. No, but then it depends on the conversation you're going to have. If, you, if you're having a breakup conversation, then, then it's a breakup. But if you're having a conversation based on, listen, I'm going through this thing, yeah, mm -hmm. and... I don't know when, mm -hmm. and I want us to break up, then it's okay. But I, if I say, okay, I've met someone, and because of this, 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 I don't think we can be together. Mm -hmm. But if you can hold on for me, mm -hmm. then you are giving the person a choice. Mm -hmm. If you can hold on for me, after maybe two, three years, mm -hmm. I can maybe sort myself out yeah but that's a maybe and let's not yeah, forget that, that's said, women think, also have like biological no, clocks, that's what right I said, that there is, are times they want to get married times they want to have kids i get that yeah, i get exactly. that i get that that's what i'm saying you are giving the person a choice mm -hmm. a choice to make so uh -huh. the person will come back to you probably and say oh um leo i think i cannot wait and because I understand your situation. Mm. I want us to go our separate ways. Right. We can be called your friend. No, but I feel like that would be unfair in the first place, given it those options. No, but that is that is the hole you are in. Yeah. So 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 so, so yeah. let me also throw uh -huh. this to you. Uh -huh. Would you prefer me saying that to your sister mm -hmm. or not saying anything at all? No, no, no. And she she she's she's back home, uh -huh. turning down office. Uh -huh. But you've not said anything, but in your mind, you've moved on. Yeah, but I would actually let her know. I'm not going to give her options. I feel like options are not fair to tell somebody, pick one, either or. No, I'm not asking you to pick. I'm, I'm just giving you a scenario. Yeah, I get it. This but This is what I'm in. Yeah, exactly. Right. We, we, we are dating. So you, you advise me on, mm -hmm. okay, oh, let's take this plan. Mm -hmm. Right. But women are different. I don't think they're going to understand and be like, okay, I'm going to wait. Some, some or, okay, you can. Some, exactly, right? But I feel like they think you being the man. You made her a promise. So you have to deliver on your promise. 
yeah I think I think I think yeah um, it has to there has to be honesty I think there has to be honesty that's the first thing mm -hmm. and then if one party cannot wait then on in on a cordial manner both can decide to go separate ways mm -hmm. because if, if there's no honesty that's where at the end one feels so cheated disappointed, yeah. or disappointed by yeah. the other yeah. so I think the first thing is honesty regardless of honesty one will be disappointed regardless but my point is that yeah. you just have to give it straight to the person listen yeah. things are not going as expected I know we had all these no, plans you, and you everything pick, you have to pick your battle yeah but that's what I'm saying Things are not going as expected, right? So at the end of the day, I feel like if you find somebody that you think you can move ahead with, mm -hmm. I'll be okay. I'm not right. going to get mad. I'm not going to be disappointed or whatnot because I do not want to hold you back in your life. It will make me happy to see you flourishing, right? right. To see you with the family you love, see you happy, see you smile. Rather than me giving you an option that saying that, okay, either you wait for me or... Because how long is there? Is that an expiration date on the waiting? No, I, I just, that is what I'm saying. Yeah. I give you a picture. Mm -hmm. The picture, sometimes um, a picture speaks a thousand words. A thousand words, words yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, this is the picture I'm in. And I, I don't have any other option. Mm -hmm. That is all I have. And I want us to talk about it. Then we know. I, I, you can you I can come out and say hey Adole Olenoku this is what I think let's end it mm -hmm. no matter how beautiful your end uh, your, exactly. your, your 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 message will mm -hmm. be the person will still feel disappointed but that's that one point. I agree yeah. no no that one I agree mm -hmm. but there are so many ways in going to into the belly of a beast but you still get into the belly thank you the exactly. belly is the most important mm -hmm. so if you can get her to to get and this is like you said, being being open, mm -hmm. yeah. Get at the picture. This is what I know you may you, mm -hmm. you, you won't understand, mm -hmm. but this is the picture I have. Mm -hmm. I am as disappointed as you may be, mm -hmm. or even probably mm -hmm. more. Yeah, right. But I don't want to keep you waiting. Mm -hmm. But what about that's a bit bitter? I call it bitter truth. Mm -hmm. How about how about looking at it this way? If what is a good time to send this message out? how early is too early and how late is too late do you think that these discussions should be had before the person who is leaving leaves that this is what might happen it's not a surety should that discussion be had before the person leaves and or if it's had after the person leaves how soon should it be because i think that if it comes too late then the one back home will feel cheated, cheated. not, not yes. disappointed but cheated because yeah. it will feel like you've now settled in I don't know if what you're telling me is true. Yeah. You said on you comfortably. Maybe you found somebody. Now you're telling me this. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me earlier? So should the conversation be had before, or should be should it be had after uh, the person has traveled? I think it's before, but it also depends on the relationship mm -hmm. you have. You right. Know, when, where communication. So, like, if I have to, like my my ex, yeah, mm. the last one. We knew already. Yeah. We talked about those mm -hmm. things. You know, it was a normal open conversations mm -hmm. that and we talk about other people's stories. And she would go like, Oh, so if you travel, I said yes. We may have a little bit of fight, asking where are you, where have you been, mm -hmm. what yeah. who are you sleeping mm -hmm. with or, or but you know it is for the course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah. It is for the journey for yeah. us to be together. So as much as I'll be jealous. I will, I, I will try to handle it, mm -hmm. yeah? And she'll go like, oh, yeah, 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 And as I said, you know, if I go, probably I have to pay money. I have to I have to get married to somebody with mm -hmm. time, if blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If you have all these conversations and she understands, right? and later you go and you come back and you tell her, but listen, this is, she'll be the same person that will tell you, yes, right. I understand you. I feel mm -hmm. disappointed. I feel let down, but I understand you. No, I'm not saying... I, no, no, I love to take on it, but I feel like it sounds like a fairy tale. I, I, it, it sounds really good when you're just discussing it, but no woman will be okay with that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Say, no, 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 no. Get me yeah. wrong. No, they, even me being a man, I'll still be disappointed. Mm. Yeah, but totally, I don't even think you should share it. I don't think you should share it with the with your woman <laughs> in the first place. I don't think. I think you just got to do what you got to do. If you get whatever you need and you want to bring it, then fine. But I don't think you should let a woman be in the know. That. 
that or oh, you're gonna marry somebody or be with no, somebody no, I mean, because of I'm talking about the before. Oh, so, okay. So so in your, before yeah, you in your yeah. relationship. But that is so also unreal, right? Because you don't really know what's gonna happen no, once no, you leave the, the shows, right? So how can you have that conversation I think, before I think, leaving? You have, to, you I, think, have, I think you have to uh it's have like, this conversation towards the direction that I'm leaving. No, it's to it, a it, new we, hold on. Okay. It is not when you, you you plan to get I'm talking about it how long my relationship lasted for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So during those years, issues like that comes up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or came up, mm-hmm. right? And we talked about it openly. Oh, you know Michael went and blah 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 blah. Oh. So he said, Oh, so what if what if? Mm-hmm. And that is why I'm saying it depends on the relationship you right. have. Mm-hmm. There are certain there are certain relationships they don't talk about certain issues. Mm-hmm. Right. It's a no no. Mm-hmm. But there are other relationships where they talk about everything and everything. No, so I, so that so, I do get it. It's you make a strong point. My point is that it doesn't matter what you talk about in your relationship, right? Once it becomes real, it's a whole other dynamic. That is just discussing, right? Mm-hmm. You can say, oh, what, so what if you get married yeah, to someone? Yeah, but when it comes real, I can go real. back. I, if, if you come back with, I, I know it's mm-hmm. real, it hurts. Mm-hmm. And, but I can use the same the same topic we talked about. Mm-hmm. I told you, this day might have come. Yeah, but but that doesn't and change the fact that she's still hurting. She's still disappointed. To her, it was just a discussion back there, right? She's yeah, expecting you to. You can be, do about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That it doesn't matter what you do, what you say before, after leaving, right? I feel like in a relationship, you just gotta, you just have to write it out, based on your mental state, based on circumstances, based on how you want each other to prosper, right? If you find somebody, I'm here, right? Because it happened to me, right? She found somebody, you know, whatever happened, happened, right? I went back home. The vibe was not the same. Yeah. These things you cannot control. Mm, yeah. So I'm not really gonna hold it strongly over her that hey, you caused the breakup. You should be matured enough to walk off and, and understand. You see, you see how yeah. easy you say you should be matured enough. Yeah, but that's my point. That is the same way the other party. Yeah, but my point is you should not use what you discussed like three, five, ten years ago because we had all the discussion before I left too, right? But I'm saying things happen. People change. We grow up. So I if, get that. I if, get you, that. if you bring that up, it's gonna almost look like oh, because we discussed that. Now you justifying that because we discussed no, it. No, no, no. I'm not you saying because okay. we discussed it, so yeah. you should accept it. But I'm saying we, we, we. Uh, you knew it could happen. The possibility was there. Yeah, right. That is why we talked about it. Right. You understand? Yeah, but to a woman, there's a possibility, it. but she's no, not no, no. expecting you I'm to make it real. It. I'm not right? holding it against your neck to, yeah. to accept it and move on. No. But I'm just saying that depending on the relationship you have with your, your, your then partner, mm. you can talk about things like this. Mm-hmm. So when it happens, she knows that... You, listen, women, women in general, mm-hmm. yeah, even a joke, yeah, even a joke, yeah. can hold you to it. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called women. My, my, my relationship, I started having some problems just because I made a silly... A, a silly then it wasn't silly to me, mm-hmm. but hindsight is mm-hmm. always a beautiful mm-hmm. thing. I made a silly, a silly comment. Mm-hmm. If she wasn't there, it's still cool because it was boys' boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, men with guys were sitting yeah. down, and then there was this lady of ours. She was older than us, mm-hmm. very pretty. They have all the specs, you know. Confusing. Mm-hmm. Pro Max. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Max. And nice. One one of my cousins just asked. But if she she wants you like she's a sugar mommy, would you do the do? Forgetting that my girlfriend was there. Yeah. Because we were just chatting, boys, mm-hmm. boys. So just a slip, just a second. Mm-hmm. And I was like, then she she, she she doesn't even need to ask. <laughs> you know? No, so do you mean the, your girlfriend got super mad? She got angry? That started the, 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 the problem. problem. Yeah, but I mean, it's, for me, I would say it's good that it actually happened because these are all little red flags for you to know that this girl cannot be somebody you want to be with. Right, right. Because if she cannot take something that is very, like, hypothetical, no, no, you no, just... No, 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 she, no. She saw it as being disrespectful because she was there. Mm. You understand? Because she was there. I I was not looking at it like that. Yeah. I just felt I was having a conversation with, with your friends. voice. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. With my cousins, actually, mm. you know, boys, right. boys stuff. Yeah. But it was unfor- unfortunately yeah. for me, <laughs> she was there. Yeah, not for your but friend. I Definitely unfortunately for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, I got it. 
Federal, you, you understand, yeah. but 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 that's all, it's another thing. Mm-hmm. It brings okay, then I know my woman, I know what I can, the, the things I can talk to her mm-hmm. about because I know how emotional she can get. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. If you, 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 you can have this kind of conversations with a woman, mm-hmm. then she's more open minded mm-hmm. and mature, open minded right? yeah. and mature. Mm-hmm. When that time comes, she already knows. Because you know you you wanted to travel or you guys wanted to travel. Yeah. Whoever goes first mm-hmm. and things like that come up. Mm-hmm. This right. is how we can handle it. Right. So if it gets to the point that she, she cannot move on with you anymore because mm-hmm. the tunnel is too small. Right. And she she comes up with the idea. You might not be happy. Mm-hmm. That is my point. And nobody is happy mm-hmm. in a, rela- a, a broken up yeah. relationship. Yeah. But then because you've had that conversation before, you go like yeah, I'm hurt, I'm disappointed, mm-hmm. but yes, I, I knew one day things like this might, might happen, and I take it. So yeah. that is my, my thing. Okay, so let's take it from, you mentioned mm-hmm. red flags, mm-hmm. that brings me to the next question. Mm-hmm. So what are some of the red flags we should look, or people should look out for in a long distance relationship? Things that you see or hear that sense and notice and says, hey, because of this and that, it might not work out. What are some of the red flags we should look out or people should look out for? I mean, just to rewind and go back a mm. little bit on what he was talking about. I was yeah. watching, I think I was uh, checking on my phone, like I was watching this lady, um, Jessica Owes, mm-hmm. and she had this little snippet of a video and she was talking about closure. And she was like, you need to understand, nobody can give you closure, right? It's almost like there is a breakup or whatever and you want a very, very good reason or like, you know, an answer or a way out. There's to, never a good reason. There is never like, you know, nobody can give you closure. So that's one thing I wanted to say. The red flags, like you, you bring them, I, right. I don't think it can happen like, you know, in, in lumps like I think it builds up over yeah, time right some you will overlook just yeah. because you like the person you think ah oh, it's just one uh, of those I, things I right yeah it. but there are some that you cannot sleep over it right because mm-hmm. you know how you and your girl are right then you start calling and it's like she's not picking your calls right. or she start making excuses I was at yeah. lectures so those are the re- that this is how it starts kind of like you know mm-hmm. breaking down yeah once the communication starts, starts dwindling yep, yeah that's like a big red flag you right. don't even need to wait for the excuse, right? It's like once the communication starts breaking out, it's like, oh, I was Because I think I saw somewhere again, because like, I like watching stuff. There's like, there's no reason why somebody could not, not pick your call, cool, but not to return your call. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. that's a no, there's no justification saying, oh, I was so busy, I could not return your call. Because if someone call. is important to you, exactly, as soon as you, you could find time. Because exactly. exactly. somebody says the same, you, you could be the president of the land you will still have to call your wife, yeah. the first lady. Yeah. She doesn't care if you run in the country or not. Yeah. She's your wife first and foremost. So if you cannot make time for... So these, these are some of the things that I look out for. If, if, if you were living in the 80s or 70s, mm-hmm. then you can make excuses. Exactly, oh, yeah. right? Because communication will be a problem. <laughs> like, yeah. I get it. You know, I was right. climbing the mountain. mountain. My, <laughs> my child was <wanted> cheap. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so yeah. I have I to go, I, my flip-flop got... got, mm-hmm. got Torn or whatever, mm-hmm. you cannot make those excuses yeah. anymore. Right. You are just right. a second away from our phone. Mm-hmm. Right. You, you, okay, maybe you have rules, but because we are we are in a relationship, mm-hmm. I know your routine. Mm-hmm. I know your timing. So if I send you a message, and it will take you two days, mm-hmm. in the name of you living in, mm-hmm. in a different country or something. Oh, but that is if it's usual. It's not even like such a big red flag. But then if it yeah, becomes unusual, yeah. suddenly it starts breaking down. If, that's yeah. when it becomes a problem. Because you have a routine. That's yeah. why I said you had a routine yeah. already. You know my routine. Right. And then all of a sudden, I started changing the routine. Yeah. I started right. changing it, yeah. making excuses. Right. Oh, I could not receive your message. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. Those are the small, small red flags. And. And you can feel I it. Naturally, you can feel it. You, you, you hear the right. Yeah, like you said, we're spirits, right? You can. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you can just literally feel it. I think that's the main one because relationship is all about communication. Yeah. yeah. And if the communication starts to break down, so that's mm-hmm. the first major thing. Yeah. We can also look at it in terms of um, uh, physical stuff. Yeah. So, for example, your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend calls you and says, "Oh, I need a f- new phone," or, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oh, I don't have money now. Just give me a month or two. And, and then all of a sudden, you've phoned in the person, you're on a video call, and the person has like a new iPhone. Yeah. yeah. You were asking me for a phone 
a month ago, mm -hmm. yeah. I know you can't afford it, and suddenly you have one. Yeah. If you can't tell me your dad or your mom bought it for you, that's another reason. Which I know your dad and mom will know. Where did you get it from? Yeah. You know, so it's a combination of all those things. What about, Stephen, do you have another very clear red flag that people should look out for? For me, it, it goes back to communication. Exactly. But um, how they respond to, to certain messages. Mm. You know, like not, not test message, but right. like when you talk to the person. Verbally, yeah. Verbally. Are the responses cheeky or... Uh, yes, the, 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 the character. Yeah. Let me use the word right. character. The character behind responding to mm -hmm. questions right. or reacting to, to, to friends around you and yeah. stuff. Right. When you start to see the, the characters don't necessarily meet what you, 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 you prefer, we, we kind of call it normal. Right. Then you can mm -hmm. see it's either I'm, I'm entering into a relationship where this lady would be, what house do I call it? Would be, would, <laughs> uh, in Ghana we say, but mm -hmm. like, will pee on your, yeah, on your head yeah, give With it time. the piss, yeah. Mm. The moment she, she gets her, her stand, right, she will start to control, mm -hmm. that's the word, she will start mm -hmm. to control and mm -hmm. demand things, and, right. and so the moment you start to see those small, small things, mm -hmm. the way, uh, why are you doing this for your mm -hmm. friend? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we didn't mm -hmm. And I'm not saying don't ask, but it is how you go about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, I like that you bring up those yeah. small, like you're saying, I mean, a communication breakdown, because like it's a long distance, they're only only channel or medium you have to talk is what phone. through phone sex right. messages whatnot so that's the only way you can kind of assess stuff right? right the tone in which the person is but i feel like one big thing one big thing that also kind of raises a red flag is being inconsiderate right because mm -hmm. you need to understand this guy is is in a no man's land right yeah. he's going through stuff right so like you said you call Pick up, no pick up, doesn't call back. But once you start talking, right, and the person is, you're like, oh, okay. Or like, what's up? And like, what's up? Oh, too tired today. And they're going to be like, oh, what they want to him there? And then come in, they're me, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like they start comparing. It's like, oh, you think you're so tired, right? Do you know what I did today, right? So it's like, they do not even ask you what happened, right? They don't even ask you what happened with your day for you to talk about. And then they can tell you actually what they went through, right? So it becomes like, you know, head to head. They start being like, oh, do you know what I went through today? Do you know what I mean? So these little, little things, yeah, it's like... Your, your exactly, phone. right? It's like you want an iPhone. Oh, can you give me about a month? Like, you know, my paycheck hasn't come in Why? yet. But what, what about your last month paycheck? Yeah, what did you do with your last month yeah, paycheck, right. right? Stuff like that. Yeah. And to a man, it's so annoying. Mm -hmm. Because like you're saying, most of the stuff that you do know, it probably, maybe one of the reasons you came abroad is to have a good life with her. her right. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like once they start doing that, you have to start knowing there is somebody okay, in the pipeline, right? Going through all this trouble. Exactly, right? For this kind Just of to create a, a life. Right. Exactly. Right. And being questioned. Exactly. All the time. So I, that thing, it's, it's besides being a red flag, I don't really like it in a relationship altogether, right? right? When it becomes like a competition. Hey, can, can you give me blah, blah, blah? Why should I always be the one? You know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not a competition. It's like there are little things you do that people would actually right. so, and then, and then die for you last for. One, I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. One. you know Ghanaians are quick to turn it around and say you are controlling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but my question is when you when you're in a relationship with someone it is because you, you I know people take it to the stream but I'm living in a foreign land you are in Ghana mm -hmm. I call you oh I'm going out here mm -hmm. I said listen why do you keep going around mm -hmm. here party here party that mm -hmm. so, oh, why are you trying to control me right? yeah exactly those are another those are signs right yeah. right because the moment they come mm -hmm. and you tell them don't go here mm -hmm. so, oh you are trying to control me yeah. oh, you brought me here to control me yeah because they feel they, they need that freedom mm -hmm. right yes everybody needs certain freedom mm -hmm. yeah but if you, you want to be in a relationship, mm -hmm. you want to get married, there are certain things you need to give certain percentage away. Mm -hmm. So you have to sacrifice Vice, something. It is yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. It's interesting because like I said, one of the craziest stuff is like, you the woman, you're expecting the man to work, take care of you, provide for you, right? Yeah. Protect you and all that. Yeah. But you just cannot just say okay to the guy just saying, oh, yeah. just stay home for today. Oh, yeah, I don't want you to exactly. go out. 
right? It's like you you want everything, but you don't want to give anything. Or, or it also return, comes back to re- right? the communication thing, communication. right? It depends on how you respond. Exactly. The guy is not saying don't be free, don't go on. Yeah. But if you're going out too often, he kind of has some right to, to ask. Yeah. So the way you reply can kind of tell the person if you are matured enough or not. You can just say, oh, I've been with you for, I've been accompanying mm-hmm. you for all the mm-hmm. whole week. Yeah, yeah. I just want to go out with my girl or something. Just something. But man. the crazy part, think about it in reverse, <laughs> right? A guy saying, oh, fuck this shit. I'm going out with my boys, whether you like it or not. Right? You a woman, how are you going to feel like? Yeah. If you're like, oh, come on, boo, I want you to stay home tonight. Like, you know, watch a movie with me. Yeah. And, let's, and then the guy is like, fuck that shit. I hate that stupid movie. It's like, I want to go out with my how are you going to feel as exactly. a woman? It's the yeah. same thing reverse. Right. But it's almost like, men, we do not emote enough. We don't have like, you know, emotions yeah, yeah. that kind of burn they out. When, you. Exactly. You. Right? you are controlling. You control you, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we've been talking about the mostly the communication mm-hmm. aspect of it. What about the intimacy aspect? Mm-hmm. Because this is a, a very important part of every relationship. Mm-hmm. Take it or leave it. That's how it is. These are facts. Yeah. Now, if two people have been in a relationship for probably years Mm -hmm. and suddenly one has to leave and this person knows that I always had intimacy with you yeah which is a biological need of every human Mm -hmm. now if one is going away for a long period of time do you think this is also a major cause of uh, problems in long-distance relationships somebody a lady a lady friend said this body no be firewood Oh yeah. Mal na fact. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes. that, that 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 be true. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, that causes a lot of a lot of a lot a lot because actually because of that feeling it leads to a lot of people getting <laughs> divorced and, right. and separated and right. stuff. Right. Because and when most I- men most let me put it this way, most men find it difficult accepting the fact that somebody is having is being a man on their woman I think right. most women find it difficult too it's the same I think right. yeah, it, it, same way. and also when we talk about intimacy it's not just about the sexual aspect mm-hmm. it also has to do with the tonga aspect cuddle, cuddling, cuddling it has to just, just be there, hands, be there. Be ultimately it comes down to the tonga it's right. about the sex aspect right. Let, right. let's be honest with it because the problem is it's it's an like oh, you know oh, exactly. Oh, oh. It's it's a, 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 a nobody can really quench. Even pastors like you know big men fail yeah, to this natural thing. It's a yeah. natural thing. So it's like yeah. I feel like you should like I always keep saying you should be matured enough to understand your man is not gonna be overseas for three, four, five years and not sleep with anybody else. Yeah. The most important thing is are they in a relationship with this person mm-hmm. right. or is just fun they having just to get. You know rid of that desire right, right? Right, right for me that is the way i see it right because if somebody goes you know a massage per month whatever i don't think it's they're doing it to hurt you right right as long as they're not in a serious relationship that puts you like you know over the fence then i feel like it's it's not okay but i feel like it's a little bit justifiable it's kind of like when we off, off camera sometimes we say uh, all these celebrities and sports guys and whatever mm-hmm. athletes who have millions of dollars and Sometimes they go on an assignment for like months. Exactly. And and they have some of the most prettiest women on earth, models them. and supermodels. If you right? are a woman, let's let's look at it because usually it's the women that get hurt. Mm-hmm. You should, if you're going in for a person like that, you should know that this kind of person, I should expect this about mm-hmm. a person because it's making five hundred million dollars a mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. I can't expect to be the only one sharing this mm-hmm. man. But that's the celebrity aspect. We're just talking about ordinary people, like we're saying. But you know, if I would, I mean, it's something you should expect. So I don't think, personally, I don't think it should be an issue, although it's painful, but it shouldn't be an issue why people should break up. You yeah, just, make you, a, make, make what, you should, you just no, should no, expect let, that let, something let, like that. Actually, this uh-huh. is why, this is why, this is what makes, I think, this is what makes it worse. Um, out of sight, out of love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is not like you are still not in love with mm-hmm. the person, but when you don't know, you can you can picture, you can ask mm-hmm. questions. Mm-hmm. She can lie, you can lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we all know, like mm-hmm. we say, we all know. Mm-hmm. So with the respect, where it hurts, mm-hmm. where it hurts, mm-hmm. whichever way it will hurt, but where it hurts is you get to find out mm-hmm. that this is, and she keep denying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's interesting because I had like a very personal experience like that. 
Okay, so tell us. Your Very story. personal. Yeah, the same thing. I came to China. She was in school, right? Yeah. I'm not going to mention the university. She was in school. And then it happened the same thing, right? She was doing her own thing, right? Bonking other guys here mm -hmm. and there. I was doing my own thing. We're still in a relationship, right? The communication thing started happening. It was like, oh, I was at lectures. I could not pick your call. Two or three days, one week, you don't hear from her. And it's like, you know, you can feel it. You could tell, right? So yeah. I went back to Ghana. We had a long talk. And then the funny thing was, she asked me, so was I like, you know, sleeping around each other? I'm like, of course. I mean, I was not in a relationship, but of course, every now and then, like, you know, yeah, you, you pick up, yeah, up. you pick up girls every now and then. So that was the only time that when I also asked her back, she was like, yeah, I also like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it was almost like she was waiting for me to confess no, my exam no. so before she... Can have she to so it's like a leverage. It's yeah. like, you know, if you like did it, then I also did it. Yeah. So now you cannot put any blame on me, right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, okay, it's cool. I'm like, it's not really like a battle or anything. I mean, we, yeah. we're adults and we're all kind of like, okay. But the crazy part is after the breakup and it really happened because I flew back to China, right? Yeah. And I did not want that thing hanging over my head. Every time you call her, she doesn't respond. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, where did you go? Were you with that guy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You tried to get... And I don't think it's a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's toxic. Exactly. For both of Sometimes us, right? Sometimes it's even better if both of you don't know what, what the other is doing. Exactly. Yeah. So that was what caused the breakup, but she took it so personal. Again, you know, I, I would not lie on camera. She, she was a big help to me moving to China, right? But such is life. That's the thing, yeah. I, that's the part I have with women. Sometimes they like they play a big role in where you have gotten to. Right. But the thing is, you cannot keep holding on to something that you know is not going to work. Right, right. The vibe changes, you grow apart, you know. She, she had like two or three years to finish her school. I mean, how is that going to work out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do you understand what I mean? Right. So sometimes like you saying- You cannot eat your cake and have it too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, especially when, when we've all confessed that, yeah. that this is what we're doing. Right? Yeah. And you, you've been man enough to say, listen, I cannot handle this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it is best to go away. It is either we both choose not to do stuff like that, but, but to be lying to each other. Exactly. Yeah. To be honest, I also feel like that's the problem because we try to patch it up, we try to make it up, but you can tell the vibe is not there, the vibe yeah. is not the same. Yeah, exactly. As a man, you can know it's like, you know, you're doing, you have an intimacy with yeah. your woman and knowing somebody's been in the same yeah, position, yeah, right? Yeah. It feels weird. Right. But what I felt was like, she was not really mad at the breakup, she was mad at what she invested in, mm -hmm. and now it, it has to not leave, getting, right? Yeah. So I felt like she was trying to hold on because she played a big role in you being where you are now. Yeah, and she, she still want to be part of it, but not necessarily because she was happy in it. No, if she didn't believe in, no, she, if, if she didn't believe in you, I mm -hmm. don't think she would have done it. Mm -hmm. But I think she believed in you to the extent that she She, she thought, never thought you would disappoint but you disappoint take that her step, yeah. that bold right. step to finally end. But that's the thing, no, no matter one. what, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We get, right. We, 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 Jesus got crucified. I mean, come right. on. Yeah. After all the, all, you I, no, I'm saying after all that, we're still sitting. All our sins. Yeah, we're still I wasn't sitting. there, so I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so interesting discussion, but yeah. at some point we have to wrap up. The mm -hmm. last thing we want us to talk about is do long distance relationships work? It's a very simple question. I would say 99.9% .9 no. There are way too many factors at play. Right. Way too many uncertainties. I agree. Way too many like, uh, what do you call it, developmental stages, right? Mm -hmm. You meet new people, new jobs, new bosses, new frustrations, new challenges, right? right. It's really, really difficult to be going through that and so we hold on to the relationship you have back home right. with all the communication but you don't know what the girl is doing you don't know her right. plans you don't know if she's met somebody you don't know if she's you know doing whatever she says she's doing so I, like, feel, I feel like the, 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 it's like the they chances say, are almost like they say you need just zero. about 21 days or something like that to get used to a new habit yeah. and like 6 months to forget something that happened in the mm -hmm. past so it doesn't take too long to forget about somebody you might remember the person every now and then, yeah. but you remember the person as someone who was really close. It doesn't take, it, does, it doesn't really take that long. Mm -hmm. So, and th think of the, the word relationship. It's like closeness, mm -hmm. doing things together, communicating often, helping each other. So when those factors of those parts of the equation are missing, then there's no relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of like deceiving yourself, saying that we're living thousands of miles away and communicating by phone. So yeah, holding on to straws. So I agree. Yeah. I don't think it's ninety. But the interesting thing is, I feel like if you were in a relationship and you leave, it's not gonna work out. 
But if you're not in a relationship and you actually find somebody in another country, usually it works out. Because mm-hmm. you're working to meet each other, right? You're working to either they come over, you go right. over, you start a life. No, but it, but that that depends on your 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 position as in your status in the, mm-hmm. country, in the country, like mm-hmm. if you're stable and stuff. Mm-hmm. But if because you can use that same energy mm-hmm. to to sort out your relationship back home, mm-hmm. if. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about you having that or going to before. No, I'm just saying that maybe you, you're not in a relationship, right? It's easier to begin a relationship, maybe online yeah. and stuff like that. the result is to yeah. meet. Right. You know okay, what I mean? so everybody is working on meeting. Meeting, but, but, yeah. But, but the thing is, that is what I'm saying. It goes back to communication. Because when you leave your girlfriend mm-hmm. back home, mm-hmm. yeah, it, the, the, it has to be, okay, what are we planning towards? Mm-hmm. It's Everything is based on plan. So I agree with you mm-hmm. that ninety plus percent it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Right. But those who are able to plan it well and state the challenges yeah. and are able to confront the challenges mm-hmm. in a matured manner, mm-hmm. yeah, they get it work. Mm-hmm. Right. But I but, think also but time, because, timing. Time, time, time. Yeah. And, but time. because most and that is why I give the 99.9. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most relationships don't want to touch topics like this. Mm-hmm. Right? Everybody is scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you can come out of your comfort zone and say, listen, this is how we can handle it. Mm-hmm. This, let's talk about mm-hmm. it. Okay, if you go, I will not... If I have somebody mm-hmm. and I feel like the, the need mm-hmm. to move on and I want us to talk, we will talk about it. Yeah. yeah. The, it, so it's all on maturity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? Right. And also, the kind of relationship you have with the person before leaving. Yeah. Right? Because if you're, 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 you're a, free, a free-flowing person, mm-hmm. or you both are like that, and you talk about stuff mm-hmm. yeah. openly, mm-hmm. right. joke about it, mm-hmm. the seriousness you take from it, mm-hmm. and, and when things like this come, they do, people do talk about yeah, it. Yeah, but that is, that is true, but it's very, very rare to find a woman right. who is like that. And that, that's why sometimes I kind of like people who enter into what they call open relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes that is more honest than the kind of relationship everybody But I also feel like open relationship usually never, or almost never works. You know why? Because I feel but, like, but, but it's open. So you can pass the next door and go. Exactly. So yeah. you have, <laughs> but what I'm saying, when you say open, what do you mean by open, right? Telling each other everything? No, open in the sense that you... Um, I can walk when I want to walk. I can move mm-hmm. on when yeah. I want to move yeah. on. Everything. Yeah, but how do, you, how, do you, how do you arrange that? Because I think you have the liberty to do that, that anyways. You are not, well, well, not okay. so, so signed up to meet, anybody. When I meet you, like my understanding is mm-hmm. when we meet, I say, listen, mm-hmm. I have somebody I'm dating already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What we are doing is just satisfying each yeah, other. Yeah, but that's not dating though. That's no, that is an friends with benefits. No, no, no. It's open relationship. Open, yeah, like I can, oh, you can still no, but if you have life. somebody already, then that is the that is the, the relationship. This no, one is just for fun. No, that is that is so it's open. It's open. Yeah. I can walk away You're when not I want. By to. any rules, no, if you don't want to see me, that's it, fine. They say don't catch feelings, but. You come to my end when. Okay. When, no, no, I get you 100% right. You I thought we were contact. talking about your serious, like your serious relationship. No, no, no. In your serious, serious relationship, that is what I'm saying. When you're leaving, mm-hmm. you can set certain boundaries or plans. Mm-hmm. It's all having, having a plan. Right. Mm-hmm. Listen, if it doesn't work, we should be open and frank to each other. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, Let's you. try. Mm-hmm. It is a trying. Yeah. So let's give it a go. Yeah, if I get it. After some time, you realize it's not the plan. It's not yeah. working. Right? For me, I just think for, people. For me, not to waste your yeah. time or waste each other's time. Then yeah. we can move on. People grow. People change. People. And when you see life or, or, the or, or when you also see certain red flags, mm-hmm. and you and because you know me, mm-hmm. and right. like you say, it's we are like spirits. Mm-hmm. The moment you start to feel, your somebody will say your feeling might be wrong, mm-hmm. but when you put. X and Y and Z together, mm. you know your 26 letters mm. has ended. Mm. You understand? Right. Then you know that, ah, this is... And you can talk to the person. And yeah. when you have that conversation, then you close the, the books. Right. I feel like what will be, will be though. It's like, I feel like plans, everything. It's like, I didn't know what yeah, will be, will always, be. Yeah. yeah, what will be, will be. Yeah, when, when it comes to that point, yeah. because you have the plan, mm-hmm. you stick to the plan. Right. Yes, they will be disappointed. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. Mm-hmm. They, they, but then there, there's something. Mm-hmm. You understand? There's mm-hmm. something. This is what we had. If we couldn't make it work, mm-hmm. I understand. I'm not holding it against mm-hmm. you. 
I'm hurt, I'm disappointed, mm-hmm. it will take me some time, mm-hmm. or I'm already in a relationship mm-hmm. chilling already. Mm-hmm. But you still be hurt because you're, you're human. Right. Yeah, but I like that. This is you talking to like a very level-headed woman. But, but most women will not okay. sit down and even listen to this crap. <laughs> right, okay, all right. So we've come to the end of this discussion. We I think go we, we, need to go, we need to continue. We'll we need find to time to come to, come, come to you. No, no, I, I think the conversation, is, it's, it's a little bit biased. We need some women here to, to no, tell us their side of the story. Yes, yeah. yes, but we need to also go deep with the, the, the challenges, the fights, the... Yeah. The questions, the, the little the, little nuances. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. There's right. more to it, and then after being able to get the lady back to wherever you, you get the lady to wherever you find yourself. Mm-hmm. What happens? The from challenges there. Right. from there. So right. we need to go deeper. I know this this um, topic will be interesting to most people, and I'm sure you have so many um, you, of your own ideas that you want to throw in. That's why the comment section is there. So let's write our opinions and discuss this topic in the comment section. This is a major problem for many people who travel for to see greener pastures or for many other reasons and these problems always come up. So we can make it a big discussion in the comment section. And I said we will try to bring a lady on this show one day or a couple of ladies or a couple of ladies to hear their side of the story because we're just three guys and maybe we are biased, so maybe we can have it through picture or a conclusion to this discussion so thank you so much for sticking around we're really really grateful and once again don't forget to subscribe to our channel brand new channel bring you topical interesting discussions every week from china from china and across the globe yeah but we've not <laughs> speaking in if we've not spoken a word of china <laughs> all right so once again thank you so much subscribe to the channel like share and we'll see you in the next video peace out Have a nice day.